Hey there, my name is Devin. I'm the founder of Trick Tape, and today I'm going to show you how to repair holes in your skate shoes using these adhesive suede patches. Once you're done watching this video today, I think that you're going to see that Trick Tape is one of the easiest and most effective ways to repair your skate shoes, all for under $5. So what I'm selling here are these suede patches with an adhesive backing. These are actually made of 100% recycled synthetic suede. All you have to do is peel off the patch. These are about two and a half inches long by an inch and a quarter wide. Anywhere on the shoe that you want to repair, you can simply stick on the side and patch up and you're good to go and keep skating. So I'm actually going to start with a pair of shoes, uh, these black Janoskis that I've already been skating. I want to use this as a demonstration for where I think trick tape is most effective and that's actually to use it to protect the skate shoe before any holes are in place. So usually what I like to do is I'll skate it for you know, maybe a week, maybe two, kind of see where on the shoe it is that I'm wearing things down. And for me, that's usually right around the side, kind of where I'm doing ollies and 180s, and then definitely, especially up near the toe. Um, and as you can see, that the shoe itself actually has no holes in it at all. And so these patches have been able to completely protect it from any holes in the shoe itself. The damage goes to the patches as opposed to the shoe and the uppers. So if we get a closer look up here, on the side. It has worn down a little bit on the patch on the ollie side, um, but it's still intact, which is to be expected. And then up near the toe, um, I used two patches to protect it. As you can see, or can't see, the patches themselves are actually pretty much all but worn away. That's kind of to be expected. Eventually it's going to wear through, but once again, like I said, the most important part is that the shoe itself never got damaged. As a full disclaimer, I did have to use a little bit of super glue to keep the patches uh, stuck down up front around the toe and obviously that's not ideal but I found that for some of these kind of trickier high wear areas uh, that you might need to use a little something extra to keep those edges down because basically what could happen is you put the patch on and as you're flicking up against the grip tape if there are any sort of exposed corners or edges uh, it is possible that they can catch and eventually peel off so a good way to prevent this, first off, is you actually want to cover a surface area slightly larger than um, where your board actually comes in contact with your shoe. And what that's going to do is make sure, for instance, kind of like on the other side, is that it's hitting the middle of the patch as opposed to any of the corners. And, you know, that's really just something more so for the toe. Um, for a case on the side, like this is just one regular patch, nothing else. You know, the adhesive is really strong. It's very similar like what you find um, on your grip tape for your board. And yeah, you know, I just want to be fully transparent with how I'm using it. There are cases where I can use it up against the toe and if you place it just right, um, what's going to happen is you're actually going to be able to kind of like sand down those corners just naturally through skating, kind of similar to what you do with grip tape. In that case, it's actually going to stick even better to the front of the toe um, just because it's like really kind of like locked and worn in there. Alrighty, so you see here, I got these nice pair of Lakai's. This is actually the first pair that I've skated. I really liked them. Um, I really liked them too because I found them on sale for 40 bucks. So whenever I have an opportunity to save a little money on something, you know, that I'm constantly wearing through, that's always the goal. But yeah, so this is about a month, month and a half, and every shoe skates a little differently. So I didn't get a ton of damage on the side, although there was some up there by the laces, as you can see. Also by the toe, doing a lot of kickflips, definitely trying to get that honed down. So those are two areas I'm going to focus on and repair. Got kind of these loose ends coming up both on the side by the laces and up by the toe. So what I'm going to do is just take a pair of scissors and snip off those sides just to make sure that when I'm putting the patch down, it's actually sticking to the shoe and not any of these loose ends. Now we've got this nice pretty clean surface that we're actually going to attach the patches to. And I'm going to do this side one first. So this definitely depends on your style of skating. Usually I get, you know, a hole kind of more down here as well as up by the laces. But for whatever reason, in this case, not too much damage down here. I'm just going to focus up here around the laces. And so I'm going to take one of these patches. Oftentimes I would stick it vertically. That way we're protecting both the side and the laces. But you know, it doesn't really seem to be too necessary right now, so I'm actually going to just place it right up along the laces into the direct area that's getting damaged. 
So I'm just going to make sure I got my hand on the inside. Just making sure this is pressed down nice and stuck. Maybe tuck it in any, other, any corners that are available. And yeah, just make sure that that bond is really gotten in there between the adhesive and the shoe itself. And there you have it. In terms of the size of the shoe, that's all it takes. We're all done repairing it. And now I'm actually going to do something I've never tried before. So we'll both be in this one together. For the toe, I'm going to use trick tape. But I'm also going to try a little shoe goo uh, as a base layer right in here. Just to add an extra layer of durability and to make sure that, that patch really sticks down to the side. If you're thinking like, wow, Devin, why are you using this? That's totally redundant and like against why you're selling this product. Which, I mean, you're totally right. Um, you know, I just think that like the end goal is to definitely extend the life as long as possible and to do so as cheaply and uh, most cost effective as possible. I think that using Shugu, you know, it's not ideal. Eventually I want to get this product to somewhere where this is totally unnecessary, but I think it's going to really do a good job of just protecting this added layer. And then if I stick the trick tape on top, it'll be a good way to like keep that consistent board feel. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just Use a little bit of this shoe goo and add a nice little layer of where that patch is oops, eventually going to stick right on top of it. Boom! There you have it. With two patches, I've managed to fully repair all the high wear areas of my shoe. Yeah, these are good to go. I'm going to let this dry a little bit uh, with the shoe gun underneath. Like I said, you know, it's not ideal, but it gets the job done and I think it definitely kind of reduces like the, the messy application part of shoe goo. You know, it looks a little bit better too. My skate shoes, they're meant to get torn up, but that's not too bad. If you look at it from far away, you know, that's uh, I think definitely looks better than just like shoe goo alone or duct tape. As you can see too, we've got this variety of colors. So if you want, you know, there's maroon, navy, white, gray, charcoal, and black. You can pick something that matches your shoes, like I did with uh, those Nikes, you know, in that case, you really can't even tell that the patch is there. Or if you want to get crazy, you know, I could have put like a red patch on these Nikes too. Just give it a little flair. That's good news for a total of $2 for the patches and, you know, I'll call it 50 cents for the shoe goo, which, you know, it's definitely way less than that for the amount that I used. I'm able to get, you know, another two, three weeks out of these, which is huge. Alright, so it's a few weeks later, I've been skating trick tape and I just want to show you guys some actual footage and wear and tear to prove that I do in fact skate and have been putting this to the test. I consider myself like a beginning or intermediate skater. Um, I started developing trick tape as I was learning, that was kind of like part of the reason it came about. But yeah, just going to have some fun here and show you my old stomping grounds, this parking lot. It's a really solid spot just to learn flat ground and mess around, hone down some tricks. So since we last spoke, I spent probably about maybe a week and a half skating just these two patches I had originally put on. It worked really well. This one on the side, still holding it up. Um, done nothing else to it. I added up another patch with some shoe goo over on the side here just because I worn through a little bit on this initial toe and just want to reinforce it. And I've also got, you can see this one on the left, big hole I've been developing over there. It wasn't necessary, I don't like really wear through that area of the shoe, but figured, hey, why not, since I got some extra lying around.
so I hope that you enjoyed watching me skate. Like I said, definitely still learning, beginner. Uh, you know, there are a lot of things. I've actually never recorded myself really skating or anything like that, so it was a really good opportunity to see what I actually look like and then, you know, just kind of looking back at the footage, a lot of opportunities to like clean up my style and some of my other tricks. What I thought was kind of funny is I had mentioned that I hadn't been getting wear on like the side of my shoes, like where the ollie patch was. And that was because, and I saw it like through that footage that, you know, I'm not like kicking my foot out, my front foot up enough and, you know, kind of like letting that back foot up too, um, to like really level up my board. So that's just something kind of cool I've learned, uh, or I believe noticed while skating more and more, especially using trick tape and being kind of more focused on my shoes, is that your shoes really tell you a story of where your feet are going and like how you're performing your tricks. and. There, if you're ever having trouble landing a trick, you know, sometimes you look at your shoes, it's a good way to kind of tell you the story of what might be going right or wrong. And just a cool way to get feedback and learn how to improve yourself. These are the shoes, up close and personal. Pretty similar to what I showed you back in the parking lot. I continue to skate these for a couple more days, so there's going to be a total of about 12 hours, 12 to 13 hours of use on them. And before I apply trick tape at all, I had a total of about 25 hours on it. So what Trick Tape effectively did, you know, with just these nifty little patches, is I was able to extend the life of my shoes by 50%. I'll have to admit, these shoes have seen better days. You know, I'm probably not going to go on a date with one of these on, but skate shoes, they're meant to get beat up. And it's kind of cool just to, for me at least, to be able to, like, get really break in a pair of shoes and feel comfortable with it and kind of know how it feels on my board. I think that's super helpful, especially as I'm still developing. How much longer trick tape can make your shoes last? It's all on a, you know, case by case basis. Eventually I do like to, you know, switch them out go with something new. Um, but I don't know, you know, if you want to keep just patching up, like this process can be repeated forever. Basically, if you start to like wear through the toe, just put another patch on and just keep cycling through it. You know, there's no reason if you like the pair of shoes, why well, you got to throw it away. I'd love to hear from you guys what kind of results you've seen from trick tape and how much longer it's making your shoes last. For all you newcomers or first time users, I'm just going to do some quick math to show you what I think would be a pretty common case for how much longer it make your shoes last and the type of savings that you'd be seeing over the course of a year. There are 12 months in a year. And let's just say that you go through a pair of shoes every two months. So that's going to add out to six pairs of shoes a year. In my case with Trick Tape, I was able to take that two months and extend it by 50%. So a shoe that would originally last only two months now lasts three months. So simple math, all you got to do, 12 months in a year. Now those shoes are lasting you three months. So that's four total pairs of shoes as opposed to six. Let's say too that each pair of shoes costs you 50 bucks, which I would argue is kind of on the low end of the scale. But you know, I figure might as well be conservative, under promise and over deliver. And that's two pairs of shoes that you're no longer have to spend on a year. 100 bucks of savings. Apologies for the math lesson. I know this is probably not why you guys want to be here, but just to bring it all home and show you the savings that you can see. So we're now down to four pairs of shoes a year. Four patches of trick tape is good for a pair of shoes. So if you'll recall, we had $100 of savings over the course of a year. And if you bought two eight packs, so each one is $7.99 times two, but I'm offering a discount right now for 20% off. So that takes it down to just under $13. Plus if you live in the United States, shipping is $3.99. That's going to get you to a grand total of not even $17. On an investment of $16.77, you will actually get a savings of over $83 over the course of a year. It's not crazy, but it's also not nothing. By spending a little extra money up front on trick tape, in the long run, you actually be saving a lot more. Hope you guys liked that math experiment as much as I did. On to the rest of the video. So that's going to do it for trick tape and, you know, showing you how it's, how to use it, how to place it on and what the results look like. Uh, if you want to stick around, I got a little extra 
bit of a video that was recorded earlier and that's just going to go a little bit more into detail about um, Trick Tape kind of as a company, the motivations behind it, and the big picture of why I think it's a useful product and why I just really enjoy working on it and it's kind of this like a uh, further mindset beyond just like skating. So if you want to stick around, please do. It's about five more minutes and there's also going to be a promo code for 20% off. Thank you. Thank you. See you on the other side. The whole motivation behind Trick Tape comes down to both saving money and reducing what I consider to be um, wasteful consumption. And those two really go hand in hand because there really is no point in like constantly going through new skate shoes if there's only like a really small area that's actually damaged and ineffective. Even if you're able to reduce that by, you know, say two or three shoes a year by, you know, getting a couple extra weeks out of each pair that you wear, that's gonna really add up over time. And, you know, I think that trick tape is a really good opportunity for also having a little bit more um, mindful spending and like really being aware of where your money is going and how what kind of seem like little expensive can little expenses excuse me can like really add up over time. Say that you're in total saving like fifty dollars a year. You know that's fifty dollars that can go to better uses other than just shoes that are going to end up in a landfill. That could be a new deck. That could be a new set of trucks. That could be a couple new t-shirts you like or anything else, you know, you could put that in a savings. So I just really want to like also push this idea about being mindful of where, you're, where your money is going and finding ways um, to get more out of what you already have and what you've already purchased. So I also want to take this opportunity to thank everyone that's made a purchase in the past. Um, you know, all these packs are available on my website, officialtricktape.com. And yeah, I really just, I really appreciate what um, that's allowed me to do. I mean, it's been able, it's let me to keep skating and help grow this business um, that I really enjoy working on. And that's really helped me grow and develop as a person. And yeah, I mean, if you've ever purchased one of these in the past, um, thank you so much. I, I've lost count now, but I've probably made about between nine and 10,000 of these packs over the course of the past three years I've been doing this. So. Um, I really hope that continues to grow and I really appreciate like all the nice comments and the support I get. Uh, I don't want people to underestimate how much that really means and it could really make, make my day or even like month for that matter. Um, especially, you know, there are a lot of challenges that come up with this that, that really helps kind of like motivate me and reminds me of like why I'm doing this. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about to keep skating and like really push myself and... Uh, ultimately, you know, I think this is a product that the community both really needs and they've kind of expressed a want for. So once again, thanks. That should about do it. Uh, you know, I think that Trick Tape is a great product. It's something that I've been using myself for over three years now and it's really helped extend the life of my shoes and get more of what I already have. That said, you know, I'm always looking to improve the product, whether it be the fabric that I use or the adhesive. And I really want to be able to like keep growing and developing this you know this is I don't think by any means kind of like the end of what trick tape is going to look like and you know I really do appreciate your support if you do decide to make a purchase um, just know that like all of those uh, all the purchases made are being reinvested directly back into the company because I'm really looking to improve the product where I can and and scale and just like build up this volume because um, right now it's just a one-man show but my goal, it really is to be the standard in skate shoe repair. You know, I don't see any reason why this can't be in, you know, pretty much every skate shop all around the world. And so I just want you to know that your purchases are going directly back into research and develop and testing on my end for new products. And, you know, most importantly, just to be able to like scale this whole endeavor and, you know, make it more widely available to skaters and the public. So... Yeah, if you do decide to make a purchase, appreciate you sticking around. Enter in the promo code SKATEPATCHSKATE to our website. Um, just do that at checkout. It'll give you 20% off of any purchase you make. And yeah, I just really, really want to thank you once again for supporting and you know making this all possible. It's been a great, uh, great opportunity for me over the past few years. So yeah, thank you. And... Most importantly, get out there and go skate.